Tucker Bounds is a spokesman for the McCain campaign and joins us now. Tucker, good to see you. Good to see you, Nora. As you just heard Barack Obama say, this catastrophe is the result of a philosophy of the past eight years, essentially that John McCain wants to continue if he is voted in as president. Your response? Well, I think that that's what he'd like to believe. I think he'd like to be able to make an easy claim and lay blame on those that have been uh, in Washington over the course of the last eight years. But let's not forget that he's been here for the last three. Uh, and while John McCain was sounding the alarm two years ago about the need for updated and more effective regulation on Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, he was doing nothing except for taking records amounts of campaign cash from them. And the reason this is important, Nora, is because it is really essentially the first domino that dropped. What we're seeing is a corrosive force of lending uh, that was pervasive through Democratic politics that manifested itself right there in Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. It was the first domino to drop here. And we're, we're seeing something let's, quite, quite extraordinary in these economic let's crises. Turn, let's turn to the way for the Republican National Committee put out a new ad. Let's watch it together. Mm -hmm. Meltdown. Wall Street squanders our money. And Washington is forced to bail them out with, you guessed it, our money. Can it get any worse? Under Barack Obama's plan, the government would spend a trillion dollars more, even after the bailout. A trillion dollars. Who pays? You do. New taxes, new spending, new debt. Barack Obama's plan, it'll make the problem worse. The Republican National Committee is responsible for the content of this advertising. Tucker, help me understand that. How is it that the Republican Party is calling this Barack Obama's plan when John McCain is the one who suspended his campaign to come back to Washington to try and get it passed? Well, Nora, I think if you look at the ad, what they're talking about is this plan for nearly a trillion dollars in new federal spending, which comes in addition to any bailout rescue plan money that we're going to move forward in the next couple of days. Well, why are That's Republicans a real running expense. against this plan? the $700 billion plan that the president put forward that John McCain says he's got to get passed and that he said he called a lot of House Republicans and got them on board to pass it. Is that helpful then that your own party is running against that plan? Well, Nora, I don't think that the ad runs against the plan. I think what the ad does is say, hey, look, the government has irresponsibly managed money in a terrible way. Here they are forced to make a rescue plan so that they can save Main Street, middle class Americans. But don't forget that on top of that, Barack Obama already has proposed a trillion dollars in new spending and that's just what they can account for. He's also got other additional plans that doesn't even, that don't even have a, a specified pri price tag. So we're, we're looking at a serious issue when you talk about the way the economy is going to move forward. Do you trust Barack Obama who's already said he's, gonna ca he's going to tax capital formation, which would lead to declines in job growth, small mm. small business job ta or taxes on job growth. That's that's dangerous. And then when you couple it with nearly a trillion dollars in new spending, no everyday middle class American can say, when I'm strapped for cash, I think I should spend more with less. It doesn't make any sense. We heard Senator McCain yesterday attack Barack Obama for his response to the economic crisis. I want to play that. I know that many of you have noticed it's not my style to simply phone it in. I believe our leaders belong in the arena, in the arena when our country faces a challenge, not on the road in a campaign. And I've never been afraid of stepping in to solve problems for the American people, and I'm not going to stop now. That was a McCain saying that he doesn't phone it in, and yet the day previous, Mark Salter, of course, uh, McCain's longtime staffer, said, quote, he can do effectively, he can do what he needs to do by phone. He's calling member on both sides, talking to people in the administration, helping out as he can. So can he phone it in or does can he not phone it in? <laughs> it's an important controversy, Nora. But I will actually mention that I think we may have given Barack Obama too much credit because there are reports this morning that he actually didn't phone it in and didn't call some of the key members of the Democratic caucus that ended up voting against this bill. And ultimately, I think some of the blame can be laid right at the feet of Barack Obama. But I'm hesitant to do so for Tucker. this reason, which is there's a sensitive yeah. crisis. But people should look at what people are doing. Are they taking action or are they on the campaign? campaign trail, cynically making charges. I think last week what you saw was a lot of political gamesmanship and partisanship by Barack Obama and someone, a leader that was going to take action, which is John McCain in the face of crisis. A lot of people say there was a failure of leadership all around on this. Do you know how many Arizona Republicans from John McCain's home state voted for this bill? 
I know that he was in contact with them. I know that he tried to persuade many of them. I also want to mention that there were uh, Democrats. None of them voted for it. <laughs> well, yeah, the, none of them voted yeah, for it. Yeah, Democrats from uh, Barack from Obama's Illinois state. delegation didn't vote for it either. I mean, it, let's let's look at for this for what it is. I mean, when Jesse Jackson Jr. votes against the bill, he's a close ally, spoke at the Democratic National Convention, and, and Barack Obama's closest ally from his congressional delegation doesn't even vote in support of the bill. And I can tell you what, I can tell from reports this morning, he didn't even call him. So it's, it's you know, you can parse this as much as you'd like, but mm -hmm. there was somebody that was willing to put partisanship aside, take action, step up for the middle class in America, and there was one that was on the campaign trail more willing to posture himself and make phone calls than anything else. Tucker Bounds, great to have you on. Thanks so much for joining Thanks, us. Thanks, Nora.